I think probably the first time I was like aware of how much I loved baking and like the joy that it brought to me was probably making gingerbread houses at Christmas with my mom and sister. My grandma used to make mint Nanaimo bars and those were definitely my favorite. I would sneak into the fridge and steal some at night when everybody else had gone to bed. I loved them so much. It was my grandma and my mom that introduced me to baking and sort of made me fall in love with it for the first time. I own a custom dessert business called The Stubborn Baker. Everything from cakes to cookies, cupcakes, all the treats for special events. The Stubborn Baker was named as a reflection of some of the challenges I faced being somebody that uses a wheelchair starting a small business. So when I was 15, I got my first summer job as a house painter. Two stories up, no harness, and then working for like five minutes when suddenly I felt faint and I knew what was about to happen. I like tried to like hang my body over the ladder in the second that I had and obviously that didn't do anything. I had broken my neck in four places. Before that happened, I was super active. I played basketball, softball, volleyball. Every single thing that I had known about life was turned upside down and I had to figure out how to do everything in a brand new way. Ever since I had my accident, people have referred to me as stubborn and I take it as a compliment. One of the things that I turned back to in many ways was baking and for many years it was a hobby that I did for friends and family. I started kind of getting invested in the decorating side of things. I eventually sort of saw what was right in front of me the whole time and started to look for pastry schools at that point and then, you know, started to chase the dream. I started looking into the different schools in the area and applied to one that I had been to previously so I knew the space was wheelchair accessible and they just said they weren't willing to accommodate me. And then a different school I applied to, to take like a few one-off classes, they said that I would have to pay for two spots because I was going to take up double the room. Third one I went and spoke with was uh, VCC, Vancouver Community College. Totally different experience than the first two and a huge relief for me, for sure. And yeah, it ended up working out great there. That stubbornness, you know? <laughs> Can't take no for an answer. Being in a wheelchair, kind of the only option is to become a problem solver because literally every time I leave the house in the morning, I know that I'm gonna be faced with some sort of challenge that I'm gonna to have to figure out. Finally accepting like that this was my reality and I was somebody that used a chair and embracing that it was cool to be a part of that community. So in 2019, I had finished pastry school and decided to start my business. The Stubborn Baker. I uh, moved into a commissary kitchen, so it's a shared commercial kitchen space, and was able to, you know, legitimately start everything there. And so three years later, we're still going strong. Recently, I had the opportunity to do some cookies for Arcteryx, and then I got to actually go to one of their events and like hand the cookies out, and just to see the excitement of like, oh my god. I have that jacket and people like wanting to grab the cookie that matched their jacket and I feel like for the most part I miss out on that. I don't often get to see like in the moment the reaction to what I've created for the person it was meant for. If there's anything I ever want people to take from my journey it's that there will always be people that tell you you can't do something or you're not capable of it but at the end of the day you're the only one that gets to decide what you can or can't do so. I think I'm definitely learning how to be stubborn in the moments when I need to be, but I'll give myself that little bit of grace in the moments when I need a little bit of a break and take a step back from the stubbornness. It's hard though. <laughs> the reason I love baking is because it allows me to create something that brings joy to other people. So we're going to create this really fun spiraled icing on a cupcake. You're gonna lay out a piece of plastic wrap and you're gonna create a strip of icing in each color. So once you have your icings all set up in that plastic wrap, you're ready to pop it into your piping bag, pipe it onto your cupcake in that beautiful spiral and your cupcakes are ready for your next holiday party. This tip works great for cupcakes, but it's also great for borders on cakes as well. 
wishing you a very happy holidays from the Stubborn Baker.